opportunity to share. I'm going to share my screen. And I am the director for instructional technology. So after you have uh, set up your devices with all the accessibility features as needed, uh, you can go to our website. Uh, we actually have created some resources specifically for our parents. So if you go to our parent distance learning page, you can scroll further down. And once you, um, depending on which tools you are asked to use during your, uh, for your child's learning, um, we have resources for the different tools that are in use by our teachers to deliver instruction. So depending on what you're looking for, most of it can be found here. And if you get in a situation and you find that you need something else and it's not here, please contact the training team. You can reach us at T3. T, the T3 stands for the technology training team. If you just email T3 at PGCPS and just let us know what your needs are. And if the information that is on this page or on the other iPad page, if it's not there, let us know. And we will definitely make sure that it's, it, it's made available for you. Um, when you go to the different uh, pages, you will see that there's gonna be some resources that are available and the different icons. Uh, of course, this is gonna show you a video. The other pieces would be when they're just gonna show you um, documentation or a manual manual with step-by-step -step instruction. So anything that you need, we are trying to make it available because you are our partner and we want to make sure that we are all successful in ensuring that our, our students or your children are indeed able to learn. So um, the other piece is, whoops, I'm sorry. Let me go back to my page. Uh, let me get this out of the way. All right, here we go, sorry. The other part is the iPad setup. For those of you who have iPads that you're utilizing, again, the same types of resources are made available, whether it's going to be the manual or the step-by-step -step resource documentation or an actual tutorial that's walking you through step-by-step -step for setup. Um, we do have a web filter. So some of the apps that were mentioned uh, for you to go to like the web store to download some apps, if you are most, in a lot of instances, you're not gonna be able to download them on your own. But if you need to download them, you'll just need to contact the training team so that we can push the applications out. We have a number of those blocked for our students because there are some apps that are not appropriate and we want to ensure that our students are safe online. So if you're unable to access some of the applications, um, let us know and we can push them out to you as needed. But again, the icon to see the video or the tutorials are gonna be here. And then here is the documentation that will walk you through. Um, I do also wanna let you know that if you have trouble and you need to, you need some technical support, we have made available the hotline. So you can call the hotline and press two for tech support, but you can also email T3 at PGCPS. Um, if you have iPads specifically uh, on the documentation, I think that's being shared with you. There are two people that you can email and they will um, definitely get back with you and take care of any iPad issues that you may be having. So here's a troubleshooting guide that you can use if you want to try it on your own. But if you're unable to take care of that independently, just email Jan or Jake, and they will definitely get back with you and support you in getting you up and running. So um, I guess I'll wait and we'll have questions. And I believe that's all right. Thank you, Ms. Spencer. Um, we appreciate that. Uh, Ms. Holloway, are you ready to go? I am ready to go. Okay. 
My name is Jennifer Holloway and I'm the instructional specialist for assistive technology, which also includes accessibility. So we're going to just wrap up with just some more general accessibility supports on this one page digital document that gives you links directly to um, accessibility tools. And especially for those accessibility tools that sometimes you're using that may not be PGCPS provided. But sometimes we just have to grab whatever's closest and um, know how to use that. So for example, um, when we select our Microsoft, when you select the Microsoft icon and each block tells you what to, what to do, um, it is actually going to take us slowly, but it will take us to um, the Microsoft website. And so on this site, you are able to see all of the accessibility features that Microsoft provides for you. And then it's broken down by what they need, whether it's vision, whether it's hearing, neurodiversity, and so on. So each one of those links in that block actually takes you to that site. And so for the sake of time, um, this will be given to you. The videos are actually videos that show you how accessibility features have been used by different individuals to create access for them in their environments. And we've also included just a couple of free web tools Rewordify is one of the tools. It's just a free web-based tool that supports reading by simplifying difficult English and words. And you can cut and paste from anywhere into Rewordify to simplify that reading content. MathShare is also another tool that is free, web-based, and it's all about um, math and problem solving. And as we all know, that's one of the things that's most difficult to find support uh, for is math. So MathShare, a completely free open source tool, which is done by Benetech, um, who are the same individuals that support Bookshare, which is by um, OSEP at the National Department of Education. And then, also included here, you have a link to Natural Reader. And Natural Reader is, again, it's a tool that will convert text to speech for you. It does not level it like Rewordify does, but it does allow you to have that um, text to speech when necessary. And we also have our Prince George's County resources, which you just heard um, Ms. Spencer talk about with our parent distance learning resources, the iPad set up. And there's also a parent autism resources um, there that leads you to their Bitmoji classroom that will provide additional resources. Should you need further support with any of these things, there's contact information, Jake and Jan, and then myself and our email addresses. And so that is, um, that's it in a nutshell. That's kind of everything that everybody talked about in being able to provide access for our students. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Ms. Krobeck, Ms. Uh, Pusey, Ms. Ms. Spencer, and Ms. Holloway for the presentations. And now, of course, it's time for questions and public comments. Um, we have a lot of folks on our 